Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Let's take a look and see what your messages are for the week ahead. I can't even believe we are almost in spooky season and Virgo season is over. Hope you guys had a lovely birthday weekend. If you're new to my channel, do click like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy these readings. And a personal reading link is in the description box below. Okay, Virgo, so let's get into this. What are Virgo's messages for the week ahead? Okay, you've got justice, Libra energy, fairness, something working out in your favor this week. Okay, and you have Pisces, hangman in reverse. Um, okay, so this just looks like a bit of impatience here. Um, don't worry, I feel like something will, is going to work out this week. It could be a legal situation or a court situation. Um, okay, we've got the devil. Whoo, Virgo. This might have something to do with like a really toxic situation. Um, yeah, I just feel like, um, somebody's going to get theirs this week. That's for sure. It looks like um, we have Capricorn, Pisces, and Libra. So this week, there might be some kind of court thing going on. Um, something might have happened previously or something happens this week. Be careful driving. Be careful. Some of you, I just want to say, like, don't even take a sip of wine and get behind the wheel. Do not do it. Not even a sip. Not even. I feel like you might get pulled out, pulled over. Um yeah, be very careful this week with that. This is like, um, it's not a warning, <laughs> unless you take it as a warning. Um, just, just, or don't go in the car, to get in a vehicle with anyone who, just keep your eyes and ears peeled. Just make sure that whoever you're getting in a car with, or that you are around someone who has any kind of, is over the legal limit, or has any kind of illegal stuff just be careful watch yourself look after yourself this week okay that that's like the strongest message that's coming in just be very careful this week let me say just drive yourself and if you're and if you're taking a sip of something pace yourself or eat something or drink a lot of water just give yourself some time take it easy go easy okay let's see Okay, you've got some new communication coming in this week as well. Let's see. Somebody's coming in to clear something up for you. Let's see. Okay. Hmm. Somebody's going to tell you that you are like a wish come true for them. Definitely. Somebody's been thinking about you. Um, coming in to um, solve some problems or go over like sort out some problems I feel some obstacles that are in the way and some kind of a relationship situation um, I feel like this person is um, also there's an energy is really impatient to talk to you like really wants to talk to you and give you some truth as well and something also like they've cut out some really toxic behavior and they're fessing up to you know there's cleaning up their side of the street and um they're really happy now and they they want you to be happy but they also i feel like i don't know if they want to reconcile but i feel like this is something that they feel they need to tell you to try to like start some new conversation or some talks with you they're not yeah okay yeah something happened to this person they get hit really hard something major like a big shock big revelation um a big shocking kind of thing happens to them and they're just like bam sh damn shazam <laughs> bam damn and shazam this person is like um gets like hit in the noggin with a real wake up call kind of thing hits them like out of the blue this week big time actually it might have happened on the 16th but yeah i mean this person cutting out some serious bad behavior as well a scorpio energy there cutting out some serious be be bad behavior 
And uh, this is a light bulb moment too for this person. As far as like trying to manifest some wishes and you know being happy, I feel like this person, as far as you go, in a in like a love relationship kind of situation, this person's ready to like cut through the b the BS. They want to talk to you. Like let's let's talk. Let's have a, like a heart to heart. Like let's really talk about this. Like I want to talk to you. I want to tell you what's going on. I want to tell you what happened to me. Do you like my new skull, you guys? Look at this. Holla at this thing. He's got like um, some serious crystal geode stuff going on here. I'm trying to think of a name for him. He needs a name. He's going to be with us for a while, just so y'all know. I know it's like we're going into spooky season, but like I'm a sucker for these things. And I might, I might even start making them. But yes, uh, anyone want to add some names? Think of some names? Anyway short little thing there but anyway yeah this person i just feel like they're having this serious um shazam moment <laughs> for sure let me see what is going on here they might even like get into some kind of trouble they might be getting into some kind of trouble as well i, I do feel like with that justice card this is like karma so this person is getting some kind of like karmic what come goes around comes around kind of thing happening to them big time and they were selfish feels like this person um played this victim thing or they were like being a traitor they were being selfish the, this is like a scrooge moment for this person you know where i feel like that like the ghost of christmas past came along and is like look what you did <laughs> Look what you've done. Look at how you screwed up. Look what you've done. <laughs> and the ghost of Christmas presents, I can look where you're headed. Ugh, if you don't fix this, look where you're going. This is your future. Ghost of Christmas future, whatever. Yeah, so. <laughs> ba bang. This person's having a wake up call, like, oh, I'm coming in with that offer. They're coming in with that, like, this is a like this has been a long time coming okay so an apology a bona fide like solid offer coming in maybe even coming in with that final proposal or that ring or making like trying to make it happen here you know why like such a freaking slow paced snail energy but it's real like the long term kind of thing you know look even like 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 the ghost of like the Rim, grim reaper it was like here you can use my freaking horse just go and do what you need to do and send my horse back when when virgo accepts <laughs> like what the hell okay so yeah solid offer somebody's paying you back for something also maybe they stole some money Mes making restitution they, they might have stolen some money like a real long time ago and now they got to pay you back and now they're paying you back yes absolutely and they're being forced to could be the courts they got caught could have got caught stealing or finally it's something's catching up to this person mm -mm -mm. virgo Okay, Let's see what else is going on here. Whoa. Whoa. What? Oh, this person, like, they're making serious change here. Look at this. Ten of Cups, Six of Swords, Nine of Swords. This person is stressing. They might have, like, left the family unit or left the relationship or abandoned, and they're, like, thought they could go out on their own. Oh, yeah, I'm going to leave. I'm going to, you know do something here i'm better off on my own and they f they find out like i feel like this is still part telling part of the story and um they were out there nothing but conflict trying to do something on their own um, running away kind of energy i thought they um, i'm picking up like somebody left a partnership or relationship or marriage or something they left with like another person and their kid 
Look, look, look what happened. Those nightmares, that guilt, that night, that night stuff. We have a conflict here. See that, see that sword fight? Look, all the signs there. Everything hitting them. This conflict at night, yeah. Um, they might have been also like the driver of the getaway car. They got involved in something they shouldn't have gotten involved in also. So all this energy is coming out. Or they did something related to a family situation. They got into some like hot soup. Got into some hot soup. Hot, spicy. Hot, some hot, sweet and sour soup. With some hot peppers. And some hot sauce. Like really burned up like no good no good no mas no good this stuff this person has like gotten some trouble yep big revelation so it's like oh shit they need they're coming they're like oh my gosh this is very spiritually infused because i feel like this person is like i need to go back and like make restitution i need to pay back i need to go and apologize i need to make amends i need to make change and that's what's happening here in regards to you the scorpio energy here so big time big time like the whole lid is being blown off this whole situation the lids being blown off big time judgment is being passed 100 percent. this person's facing judgment from all areas even through self they might even, even having some kind of wake-up call and judging themselves because of all they've lost and the bad decisions that they've made. You know, judging themselves, facing judgment. It's just, it's horrible. I mean, it is, though, it is. But, in, in, but in, at the same time, it's like good because this is like a breakdown. This is like coming to your knees, you know. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if, like, the Ten of Swords, like, I feel like this person is just bypassing the Ten of Swords. It might show up. They're going from the Six right straight to the Nine. So, you know, this is like, you know what? I'm not even going to just get to that point. Like, judgment is here, you know? Healing. Hearing the call. Wake me up before you go, go. That's it. <laughs> clarity that final decision i know what i need to do i know what i need to do i got the i got the call i got the sign i know what i need to do here so this week is all about like a major major wake-up call for someone here it's coming back in to make that reconciliation pay back make amends yep for all the burdens that were placed on you okay this is karma this is karmic. This is karmic. Look, here's you, right? Like, Virgo, I kind of feel like, look, you got the Nine of Pentacles. You were probably at a 10 at one point. But because of this person, you dropped down to a nine, you know? If they took money from you, you know, your bank account kind of just went dwindled down a little bit. Your stability went down a little bit. You know, I mean, it doesn't look like you lost, you know, you're still holding face. It doesn't look like you like completely fell, like fell out. Okay, but the burden was a lot. You still managed to hold yourself together here. But it looks like, it looks like you took some of those wands and threw them right back at this person. <laughs> and it looks like this week, like you're still doing that, you know. Hey, I got news for you. Here's the good news. I'm not taking your burden. I'm not taking on your burden. So this week, you know, like your energy is good with that. You're still like, I don't think, I don't know, Virgo, unless you've had some kind of wake up call yourself where it's kind of like, you know, this is my problem. <laughs> Those, you know, uh, they're just giving me sticks and stones may break my bones. I'm rubber, you're glue. Whatever you say bounces off me and goes right back to you. I mean, Virgo's just kind of like got that Teflon energy this week i feel like that's you you know oh you're gonna throw these wands at me well here i'm gonna i'm gonna send you i'm gonna send them right back your way i'll keep two just for ammunition 
<laughs> Virgo's not like <laughs> people be throwing arrows at, at Virgo. Virgo's not ducking. Virgo's like grabbing each one and sticking them behind a little satchel. Like, ha, what is that called? Where you put the arrows in? I know there's a word for it. But anyway, oh, and by the way, I just want to tell you guys, I did look it up and I did see that owls do have ears. <laughs> I don't know. I never saw it, so I was wrong. Thank you for correcting me and letting me know that it's, I guess, a horned owl or whatever it was called. So now I know, and the next time I get that owl uh, charm, I'll make sure that I know what I'm talking about. I mean, cat bird? I don't know what's wrong with me. I have the brain of a five-year-old. But anyway, thank you. So yeah, it, it looks like uh, this week going forward, um, maybe you don't need this, but it looks like whoever's coming in is definitely coming in with this you know i really screwed up kind of energy i really screwed up Virgo, let's take a look at your money let's take a look at the money okay let's see how you're doing financially what you need to do for yourself what's going on with virgo's money i mean i said you were getting some kind of a payback so somebody's giving you some money okay Woo. Eight of Swords. Money's tight. Money's tight this week. Yeah, you're looking at your finances, that's for sure. Good for you, Virgo. It's a little bit of budgeting, okay. Borrowing from Peter to pay Paul. Money's a little bit tight. But you know what? I think you can find a way around that. I do. You just got to really look and see where you can pull money out of and where you can... Um, stop spending you really just got a budget so i feel like this week you're probably going to take a look at that real hard you know maybe like just kind of trim the fat a little bit which is okay it's okay and try to start i feel like think about ways um so if you go and have services performed for you rather than having people perform services for you try to see if you can do them yourself right so cut back a little bit so for example i don't know <laughs> if you go and get your oil changed in your car <laughs> see if maybe you can find a friend that can do it who will charge cheaper or do it yourself if you go and get your nails done maybe go get some press-ons instead those are just ideas try to save a little bit of money uh, try to cut corners a little bit so you can still have what you need or the things that you like but that you're not spending as much all right, let's see what else is going on for your money. Okay, yeah. So I really feel like that's the biggest message. Look, taking a look at how much you're spending and how much you can save. Um, now, okay. I'm also hearing um, there might have been some investments that you made in the past, Virgo. Okay whatever they might have been. They could have been in bonds or stocks or crypto or things like that. Go back and take a look at them this week. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know if they've improved or they got worse. I, I have no idea. Um, but I feel like you need to go back and take a look at some old, old investments or old things that you've purchased you know, um, old stocks that you've, you've bought some old, maybe a 401k or, um, there's some, there's some kind of, um, there's money somewhere for you. And I, I do feel like it could have something to do with like uh, money that was put away for you, for you when you were young, um, by someone else, or it could be some money that, is sitting somewhere if you have kids for your kids you might also be thinking about um investing for or putting money away for children um or grandchildren you might be thinking about investing um or in some kind of life insurance policy or doing something with retirement and something for a future for future um your kids or something like that there's a whole lot of taking a look and studying some you're looking at your options there's a whole lot of looking at your options now i know 
It's a crazy times financially right now, okay? Um, and I'm not saying for you, there's nothing here that's telling me for you to purchase anything. I'm not seeing that. But I do feel like they're saying this week especially to start looking and to start doing a little bit of research in other maybe options trading or even looking into gold. More so gold, possibly silver, but more so gold, looking into gold. Okay. Let's see what else is going on here. So, you know, unfortunately, I'm not seeing anything here with like you're going to hit a big jackpot or unless the Wheel of Fortune shows up and I'm not asking about that right now. We're going to take a look more so into just life in general. What other life messages there are here for you? And um, for those of you who are members, real quick, I have to change once again the live stream Q&A. And I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to do that. Um, so my apologies for missing those two days in a row, or those two live streams in a row. Um, please do bear with me. Sit tight. I have to rearrange the schedule now that I'm in a different. We're in a different season here, so um, I will definitely keep you posted. Keep your eyes on the community tab for information for when that changes. Okay. So life stuff. You've got. All right, some of you do not want to have a hysterectomy or go through the change of life. You're holding on to that thing. Oh my gosh. Some of you are like, nope, nope, I'm not going through it. Others of you, um, hold on a sec. I just saw somebody with ankle bracelets. Somebody wears ankle bracelets. I'm seeing a lot of deflection from a female. Could be a mother um, or a mother figure. A lot of deflection. She is not, she's, she's pushing things back off on you. She's trying to get you to look at yourself or she's trying to get you to look at yourself. She's, she's pushing back anything like she's walking around with like a mirror with mirrors on her. She doesn't want you to see her. She wants you to see yourself, which is a very strange message. She wants you to look at yourself and anything that you say to her or any words that you tell her, anything you communicate to her, uh, it's this whole rubber rubber glue thing going on this week. So anything you say to her, she's just going to push it back on you. Now, it doesn't mean it's your mother. It could be. It could be, um, you know, an ex, maybe the mother of your kids. It could be a sister. It could be a friend. This is a woman who is capable of having children or she has had children. Or she, she's no longer having children, okay? There's some kind of connection you have to her. And this week, she's not wanting to hear something that you, you might be saying to her. She's not wanting to listen. She's pushing back. She's blocking, okay? Hmm. I also have somebody who wants to sleep with you. No. Oh. But they're not letting you know. Okay. I don't feel like it's related to this person. But let's get in. I just want to see one more thing. Okay. All right. So let me just, before I get into that part, this person who's pushing back, she is, let me just say this. What you have to say to her, she knows it's the truth. She knows it's true. She knows. And the reason why she's pushing back or she's pushing it on back onto you is because she doesn't want to hear it. She doesn't want to hear the truth about herself because she's broken inside. Okay. 
Um, she's trying to protect herself. She's trying to guard her heart. Now listen, this could be you. Somebody could be doing this to you. I don't feel like somebody's trying to hurt another person intentionally. I feel like they're trying to help, but I feel like another person is not ready to be helped. Another person is not asking for help. Therefore, it's unsolicited advice and it's not welcome. So the reaction to unsolicited advice, unsolicited advice when it's not being asked is defensive. Defensive energy. Okay, and then that could start an argument. So what is the what is the actual advice here? I, I guess it's, you know, don't give advice to anybody who's not asking for it. <laughs> like I just did. <laughs> but that's okay. You don't have to take it. Um, don't give advice to anyone who's not asking for it. Just be a friend. And if someone's offering you advice this week, and you're not ready to hear something, just kindly say, thank you for your advice. Um, I'll think about it and let them go. <laughs> That's a nice way to do things. Otherwise, you just like pop them the finger and tell them to just get lost. Whichever works for you, Virgo. Hey, I'm not telling you how to live your life. All right, let's move on to this other person. Okay, so somebody's definitely got a thing for you. They're laying in bed at night secretly. <laughs> I'm not even going to say it because I'm not going to get banned. We'll save that for the OnlyFans. But anyway, yeah, this person is, they're also praying for you. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. They're also praying for you. Let me see here. What are they praying about? Oh, they're praying that you will love them. But they're also, um, yeah, they're very physically attracted to you. Crazy. Like, they, they fantasize about you. They're popping one off there, Virgo, for you. How about that? So, um, they're praying for you. So, you King of Cups here, King of Scorpio Pisces. Also, the we also have uh, Libra Taurus energy here, too. Virgo and, yeah. Okay. So... I feel like they're, so this King of Cups here is trying, they're coming to a compromise, I feel like. They're making a decision this week. Um, there's a Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, about making huge change. They're making some kind of change. A turning point happening here in regards to you about something. I don't know if it's a relationship. For some of you, it's about ending something. Could be ending a relationship. And moving on. I have to give that message. Hitting rock bottom. Um, for others, it's, it's about, you know, stopping, uh, no longer being someone who, if they were someone who just would cut people off all the time, you know, like being sharp or being a heartbreaker, that kind of energy with the Three of Swords. If they had that thing about them, then that's kind of like they're defeated with that. They were like, kind of like a player, you know, the Three of Swords, it's just always breaking people's hearts. They're done with that lifestyle. You know your person, if you have someone like that. Um, okay, very self-reflective type of an energy with this person. They've gone in, they're very, they're alone. They're not lonely. I don't see them being lonely, but they're on their own right now, and they're doing a lot of thinking. Huh, about what it means, what it takes to be a man. What does it take to be a man? Or to be an adult, or to be mature? So a lot of internal stuff going on with this person, okay? Um, I don't see communication with them this week, but I do see, like, making a major shift and a major major change and a shift going on with this person you know um so for some of you this could be like a brother it could be a romantic relationship it could be a friendship um i hope it's not your brother the way that started out because that's gross totally grody to the max there okay yeah there's the lovers so more like a romantic kind of thing but if it's um 
you know, no romance and none of that Ace of Wands stuff going on. It could be just someone that you know non-romantically, right? A pl platonic kind of thing where there's just like a major shift in this person, their lifestyle, um, kind of like just kind of raising their vibrations and raising their level of who they are. All right, let's see what other messages there are here for you for this week. Okay, past love. All right, you got past lovers showing up this week too for you. Maybe hearing from them. Okay, that person's at a long distance. Long distance past lovers showing up, Virgo. Could be a beauty queen. You got a long distance past lover who's like really super, super gorgeous. Beautiful, shining on stage, adored. Could be a beauty queen or they could be someone who's on stage. Could be a celeb. Sleb. Let's see. Okay. Brunette female or male. They could have dark hair. Be very intense and highly focused. Look at that. Nice colors. Okay. Let's see. What else? Yep. Yeah, okay. So it's funny because I was, I was saying, and I wasn't sure if you were going to get any communication this week, but it looks like you're going to get a text or a phone call or some kind of online communication. Um, this week from somebody. Oh, look, children showing up here again. Childlike innocence and fun. Maybe with children. Maybe not. There's definitely going to be some type of thing going on here. Oh, some of you, you have very mature men showing up this week as well. Older male, mature in age, and that does resonate. Male or female, definitely mature kind of thing going on here. So let's see. Let's take a look. Yes, long distance, past love, communication kind of thing happening here, Virgo. Okay. So let's see. What other messages does Virgo want? Let's just do a couple of love messages. Love messages for Virgo. Excuse me. My goodness. Such a piggy. Oh, shoot, Virgo. Past life relationship. What in the... What in the Jesus sandals is going on? All right. You have known each other before. All right, Virgo. Some kind of message showing up here for you. Forgiving and learning as you release. Heal the past. You experience more love in your present moments. Okay, Virgo. I know. I know. We've been saying that. How long is how long has the reading been? You keep past lover. Where's your past lover? Some of you are like, thank God. Some of you are like, well, it's worth waiting for whenever they show up. Divine timing is at work in your love life. All right, Virgo. Let's get a couple of charms and just see. I just want to get one. God damn, if that horned owl shows up again, that cat bird. All right, let's see. What's this? Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, that's a first. You've got a pentacle, Virgo. Just a straight up pentacle. So I feel like this is just a, a message for you. This is just a Virgo reading. So if you see a pentacle anywhere, I mean, hopefully you don't see that anywhere, but yeah, if you see a pentacle anywhere or just a star, anything along those lines, just so you know, Virgo, this is your message. And I'm just going to leave this here. I hope you guys enjoyed that short and sweet. I will see you all back here tomorrow for your Monday reading. And um, yeah, don't forget, click the like button on the way out. Thank you for buying me coffee. To all those of you who purchased a coffee, I appreciate that. There is a link below if you would like to continue purchasing coffees for me. I always appreciate it. Love it, love it, love it. I even, look, you guys, I'm a Dunkin' Donuts coffee person, not a Starbucks person. Dunkin' is it. So I'm enjoying them. I really am. <laughs> all right, you guys. So love you so much. I will see you all back here tomorrow. Take care. Bye. My heart